so excited that um, Board Member Mann came on board and that he authored this resolution and that we are starting to say that our kids can't take any more. We certainly need to fund all the kids in Oklahoma and we need to provide the best education we can for them. So I'm very excited about it. On Thursday, you started to list a couple things, you know, it's like there were constitutional requirements that you were not able to meet because you did not have enough money. And you, you gave a couple examples on Thursday. Can you maybe re-go over some of those examples or? Um, maybe? Well, there are unfunded mandates. I think that may be what you're referring to, yeah. such as Reading Sufficiency Act that's un underfunded. Uh, the teacher quality, TLE, which is how we, how we evaluate teachers that's required by the state that's underfunded. Um, so all of those things we have to pull funding from that would normally go into the classroom uh, that would, we now divert to these mandates that the legislature has placed on us. And then I think we talked about textbooks. I mean, you have to provide instructional materials to students, and we receive no money for instructional materials as required by the Constitution. So. When you think about lawsuit, you think about paying an attorney to do this. How is, this, how is the district going to pay for this? Well, now, now that it's passed, um, I, it's my desire, and I just mentioned to, to our legal counsel, that uh, either through an outside entity or through the district that we set up a GoFundMe, I think we'll probably be able to fund the majority of this lawsuit without uh, pulling any tax dollars into it at all. Mark, any idea how much it might, it might cost to, to for legal? No, because I think we've got to start talking to lawsuits and uh, talking to law firms and determine, you know, where they want to file it. Do they want to start in district court? Is that the best place? Is it better to petition the Supreme Court? Uh, obviously, the the lawsuit involving the budget being complete by April 1st, that's not even a consideration until April of 2018. And then some of the other pieces, I think you really have to determine the depth of the filing and the depositions and all that. So. I know you said you talked to some other districts or some representatives from other districts. How much interest is there? Well, I'll say this, and I don't want to throw anybody under the bus because they were just private conversations from people I knew. Uh, I think there's a lot of interest, and I think now that we've actually taken the step to pass this tonight, I think uh, you're going to see people coming out of the woodwork in the next month to, uh, to join this and talk about joining.